proposed changes could affect 50,000 bus riders in Kansas City. The KCATA says the changes are about increasing efficiency and some of the faster max bus lines would also be affected. 41 Action News reporter Belinda Post is live at 11th and Wyandotte with uh, what some riders are thinking about these changes. That's right, Cynthia. We are here at a max bus stop at 11th and Wyandotte. You can see right now it has four options, the max truce, the max main street, and two local routes. Well, it would keep its max truce, but it would lose the max main street. Now, I'm going to take you into reasoning of why KCATA is saying that that would be a good move. It's actually moving that part of the downtown line to Grant. Right now, the route curves around and turns on 11th and 12th. If it goes straight on Grand, the city believes it'll be a better better use of resources. That's something one rider who takes the bus every day to work recognizes. By the time it gets to 75th or 95th, it's uh, pretty empty. Usually there's four or five of us. If you can find bus stops where only one or two people board in the course of a day or even two or three days, and you move that bus stop and have maybe a, a slightly further distance between bus stops, again, the bus isn't stopping and starting at every corner. You can weigh in on the adjustments at a meeting tonight from 4 to 6 at the Waldo Library on East 75th Street. It will be KCATA that makes the final decision, but they are giving you a 45-day window where you can jump in and give your input. They say sometimes riders do bring up things that they don't otherwise think of. Reporting live in Kansas City, Belinda Post, 41 Action News.